I would describe it as uh, the attention economy. We've got a watch or we've got a mobile or we've got something over here. Our attention is so stretched and I think it paralyzes you. I think you actually end up not paying attention to any beautiful story that's been crafted. So our mission is to try and help our clients navigate what is an incredibly complex media landscape now. What I think is interesting about the, that discussion, it's all about engaging with humans, yes, but how you engage is different now, no? This week it was all about ad blocking. The week before it was about transparency, and a month ago it was programmatic, and five weeks ago it was content. An agency's role is to make sense of that. In the bad old days, we planned five media channels. Sure. Now there's thousands of different channels, and for any CMO or CEO for any of our major clients, they can't possibly understand what all of those channels do. Our role is to, is to help clients lean into that change and embrace it. I think it, it could be the new era of creativity, programmatic. Rather than people going, oh, it's terrible, it's about machines and algorithms and it's, it's bad. You know, all power to the machines. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll make us better. Yeah, maybe. Let me ask you about your experience in Cannes. You obviously just came out of the deep, dark hole of uh, judging. Yeah. How was that experience across media and what did you see that inspired you? There were some great pieces of work where you could follow the consumer across different devices and screens, so it felt truly immersive. And I saw some great pieces of film where it felt like communication was actually making a difference in terms of social justice, lots of female empowerment stories, and actually changing government policy. Congratulations for being voted one of the women to watch from that age. You're the youngest woman in the Group M from a leadership position. How do you encourage growth of women inside the organisation? All we want is a level playing field for women, so I'm passionate about talent full stop. I did a, a survey just a month ago to check on gender pay equality. I've checked our eight biggest markets globally, and we have a 0.5% difference in pay which I'm really proud of. And 40% of our leadership or second in command are female. We've just done a partnership with NBCU. How do you feel about that? I'm very excited. I'm, I'm you know, sorry, I, I should use the Americans. I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm pumped. So NBC is, no, seriously, they're our biggest client oh, globally. They and they are also the most creative client. We test so much new digital and social stuff with them. So I'm really excited about the partnership with AOL and how we're going to merge all our content and all your platforms. It feels actually that this partnership is ahead of the curve. So we talked about an attention economy. You learn about the brand over a lifetime. We start the aspiration quite young. So how do I get that attention? What are you giving me that is of value in my life? Because we are still humans. We haven't all changed because the world's become digitalized. We are still, we have hearts and we have minds. So how are you going to win those over?